Welcome to our daily Bible devotional. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020, and I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I want to wish happy birthday to one of our members, Brother Tommy Atwood. And Brother Tommy, God bless you. Hope you have a great day today on your birthday. And then don't forget the service on Wednesday night, prayer and Bible study at 7 o'clock. And Dr. David Blazer will be our teacher again this week. And then Sunday, June 14th, uh, we'll have our children's Sunday school at 10 o'clock uh, online. And those for those here in the auditorium, they'll be able to see it. And then 10.15, we'll start our service in the morning and 6.30 service Sunday night. Now, if you have a Bible with you, uh, open it up to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And I want to read the first two verses there and give you a moment to find that, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. I really appreciate several members have told me that they use these devotionals for family devotions. And so I'll give you a moment there to find the Bible uh, with your family and uh, you can look at these verses with me. And verse 1 says, Do we begin again to commend ourselves or need we as some others epistles of com commendation to you or letters of commendation from you? And verse 2, Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. There are many people who have never darkened the doors of a local Testament church. I'm talking about people in the United States of America. People who have never attended one church service, they have never heard a church song, uh, have never sung a church song, they have never read one verse out of the Word of God. Several years ago, early in our ministry, uh, we had two young ladies in their 20s that visited our church service. And after the service, I went back uh, to the auditorium and uh, talked to them and, and uh, asked them their names and told them, appreciate them being here. And I think someone invited them from our church. And they, and they said this to me, we have never been in a church service before. And they said this, we didn't even know who Jesus was. And I was so shocked. These were not people that were foreign people. They were born in America. They were Americans. And it was amazing to me. They'd never heard of Jesus and never been in a church service. There are two things today that we can do to uh, help change this. The first thing is this. Get the gospel to Jesus, of Jesus Christ to everyone that we can. Uh, people need the Lord, and they need someone to tell them, uh, about Jesus Christ and sacrifice on the cross. In Psalm 126, verse 5, the Bible says, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And verse 6 says, He that goeth forth in weeping, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bring the sheaves with him. The seed is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Jesus told the, the disciples before he ascended into heaven in Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, he said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And so how can we help... Uh, the people, even this in our own country, they have never heard the gospel. We've got to get it to them. And the second challenge is what we see here in this uh, passage of Scripture today is that we need to live the gospel of Jesus Christ before others. The greatest weapon against the devil today is a godly life. And the greatest witness for Jesus Christ and for the gospel of Jesus Christ is a godly life. You see, as believers, we need to obey the very book that we say that we believe, the Word of God. And what happens when we do that, um, others will see the difference in our lives. Someone said this, uh, you and I may be the first Bible that somebody else reads. What are they reading? If they see Christ in our lives, then it may open up an opportunity for us to be able to share with them why our lives are different. It's not because of us, but it's because of Jesus Christ and what he's done for us. In Philippians 1.27, the first part of that verse is, only your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. The word conversation there means your life, your lifestyle. And so the Bible says we're to live our lives in a way that preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who have never been saved. Years ago, I heard a poem, and I just came across it uh, just recently. And this is a very short poem, but it says exactly what we're talking about today. It says this, you are writing a gospel, a chapter each day, by the deeds that you do and the words that you say. Men read what you write, whether false or true. Just what is the gospel according to you? Wow, that says it all. And so 
uh, Paul says to the Corinthians, you are our epistle, written in our hearts, and he says, known and read of all men. What are people reading when they see our lives? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Tuesday and thank you for the challenge here. Uh, God, it's amazing that people could even live in the United States and never hear about Jesus Christ. And that's not a good thing, Lord. And I pray that we as believers would get out the gospel to everyone that we meet, everyone, God, that uh, crosses our paths and, and every opportunity that we have to share the gospel, give us boldness and courage. And then, Lord, also, may we live the gospel of Jesus Christ. May others see Christ in us. And may it be something that would prick their hearts and maybe even open a door for us to witness to them. Lord, thank you for your goodness to us. Help us to walk with you today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Tuesday.